case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1985, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case Hayes v. Florida, which centered around the Fourth Amendment's protection against unreasonable searches and seizures. The case involved a suspect, Hayes, who was believed to be responsible for a series of burglary rapes in Punta Gorda, Florida. Though there was little specific information tying Hayes to the crimes, he became a principal suspect after being interviewed by the police. Officers visited Hayes's home to obtain his fingerprints or arrest him if he was uncooperative. When Hayes hesitated to go to the police station for fingerprinting, an investigator threatened to arrest him, at which point he complied. While at his home, officers also seized a pair of tennis shoes in plain view. Hayes was fingerprinted at the station, and his prints matched those found at the crime scene. He was then arrested and convicted of burglary and sexual battery. During the trial, Hayes moved to suppress the fingerprint evidence, but the court denied the motion. The Supreme Court ultimately held that transportation to and detention at a police station without probable cause or judicial authorization violates the Fourth Amendment. This decision was reaffirmed in subsequent cases such as Dunaway and Terry v. Ohio. The court ruled that seizures like arrests require probable cause or judicial supervision, and as a result, reversed the Florida District Court of Appeals judgment. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.